Okay, I'm going to get us started for our meeting tonight. So tonight we are presenting the Old Torf Street Phase One Reclaimed Water Main Project. And um, we have a short presentation and then we'll be glad to answer questions. Um, we'll start with a welcome and some logistics. We'll, our project team will introduce themselves. We'll then have some background on Austin Water's Reclaimed Water Program. And then we'll review the Old Torf Street Phase One Project. So just uh, a few logistics here on Zoom. If you need um, assistance from the team, feel free to send a chat to a, the host and panelist, and that'll come just straight to the staff here working the meeting, and we'll be glad to provide any assistance we can. When we get to the question and answer portion, if you will use the Q&A button, uh, you can submit questions through that. And we'll also have an opportunity if you just want us to unmute your mic and so you can ask your questions verbally, we'll be glad to do that as well. All right, well, let's move on to our team introductions now, starting with Stephen. Good evening. My name is Stephen Vargas. I am the uh, reclaimed uh, department uh, in, in Austin Water Department working in the reclaimed uh, division, and I am the project sponsor for this project. Hi, I'm Thomas Rolock with CAS Consulting, uh, the design engineer for the project. CC Ostrick is not with us tonight, but uh, she is helping me on the project and will continue throughout the construction phase. Hi, everyone. Javi Gonzalez with the City of Austin Public Works. I am the project manager over this reclaimed water project. Our contractor, Scott Blanda from Cash Construction, will be the project manager from uh, Cash Construction, the, the contractors over the project. Uh, he will be joining us shortly as well. Good evening. My name is Telly Ortiz. I am with the Public Work Department with the City of Austin. I will be the engineering construction coordinator slash inspector on site overseeing the project on a day to day basis. Thank you all. And I'm Emily Chancellor, and I work in Austin Waters Communications Group. And so I'll be supporting the project team and um, providing support to them uh, to get communications out to the public during construction. All right, Stephen, we're going to hand it over to you to hear about reclaimed water, and I'll be glad to click through your slides. Hey, thank you. Um, <clears throat> So as I mentioned, my name is Stephen Vargas, and I want to thank you all for attending and spending some, some of your time with us this evening. Uh, we typically hold these types of meetings uh, during this, uh, during the early part of the construction stage for the project. Uh, that way you can uh, come to know uh, what to expect in terms of the impacts during the construction phase. Uh, having said that, let me start with some background on our reclaimed water uh, program and later speakers will focus more on the specifics of this project. Um, <clears throat> if you look at the slide right now, the, uh, the reclaimed water is uh, purified uh, wastewater essentially uh, at our treatment plant. Uh, at our wastewater treatment plants, we uh, clean the water to a pretty high level, uh, we call that type one, and we put that uh, back into the river. Uh, we hold some back um, and then we pump it around town where customers use it for irrigation, cooling, uh, process and toilet flushing amongst, amongst other uses. Uh, this is a water conservation effort, uh, which uh, allows us, allows the water to be used twice, uh, once at the sink and then a second time uh, on either on a, on a lawn or a park or in a business uh, process. Next slide. Uh, water uh, has always been pretty scarce uh, here in Central Texas. Uh, that's why we began providing reclaimed water as far back as 1974. Uh, you may have heard of some references to what we call the water forward program. Uh, that's a recently completed 100-year uh, water supply plan uh, that uh, is meant to meet the needs of Austin residents 
as the population increases from uh, about 1 million to uh, at that time about 4 million in uh, 21 15. Uh, the plan does show that uh, there is an increased reliance on our centralized uh, reclaimed water system. Um, our existing uh, centralized wastewater system will uh, is slated to grow 13 fold. Next slide. So what you have in front of you is a map. Uh, this is the city of Austin's uh, reclaimed water system, which currently consists of two separate systems, north and south, um, and they are not currently connected. Uh, you can kind of see north of the river uh, through downtown and then through the Mueller development that we call that our north system. And then the other system is our southern system. Uh, we have approximately 73 miles of, of uh, reclaimed pipe in the ground already, um, and we serve currently about 162 customers, uh, which uh, those are primarily uh, include, including irrigation, uh, cooling, and toilet flushing customers. Uh, the systems are relatively uh, sensitive uh, to, to breaks on the water mains, uh, particularly when it comes to uh, toilet flushing customers. And so um, what we have is we have a series of uh, Austin Waters has taken on a series of five projects um, whose purpose is to connect these two systems. Next slide. Uh, we, we call this series of projects Completing the Core. And uh, you'll notice the dashed lines now on the, on the graphic. Uh, the, the, this dashed dash line represents a series of five discrete projects which comprise of Completing the Core. Um, this is the, the reason why we're doing this is to uh, connect the two, the North and the South uh, reclaimed water systems, which will provide system reliability and increase um, uh, redundancy uh, for the overall reclaimed systems. Uh, this project that we're kicking off now, Ultor phase one is the first of these five projects. Uh, other projects will follow this, this one sequentially and will run from east to west as, um, as what's shown in the dashed lines there. Uh, they will ultimately connect the south system to the to the north system. Uh, I'll now turn it over to Javi Gonzalez, who will speak more about the Ultor phase one project and the construction expectations. Thank you, Stephen. So as Stephen noted, this project is the Ultor reclaimed water main phase one project. The map you see in front of you shows two of the projects that are part of that five part project known as completing the core. So in the map, you see Ultor reclaimed water main phase one and phase two. Phase one essentially extends from along Ultor Street from Alvin Devane Boulevard through to Burton Drive, while phase two will connect to phase one at Burton Drive and continue traveling west past I-35 into the Travis Heights Boulevard uh, area. Next slide, please. So this map shows a more detailed uh, depiction of Altworth Reclaimed Water Main Phase 1, which is this project. Um, as discussed before, this project will extend from Alvin Devane Boulevard through to Burton Drive and goes all along East Old Torf Boulevard. So construction will occur only along this general area on East Old Torf Street. Uh, next slide, thank you. Uh, so spe the specifics of the project include about 6,600 linear feet of reclaimed water main additions and another 1,400 linear feet of potable water main. So that will just be your typical uh, water line installation. The installation process will be uh, trenchless boring and jacking and will include um, 
under a bridge culvert under the Country Club Creek. Next slide. So what to expect during construction? Along East Oldworth Street, we will see some lane closures and flagging operations and some limited detours throughout the construction period, which will last a, approximately one to one year to 16 months. The streets will not be fully closed, but we can expect some lane closures along certain portions of East Oldworth Street throughout the duration of construction. Now, note that not all of East Oldworth Street between Alvin Devane and Burton Drive will be experiencing construction at once. The construction process and the schedule will be sequenced to move in stages starting on the Alvin Devane Boulevard end with water with water, the water main or water service, and then extending all the way up to the Burton Drive section. So something we can expect is um, throughout the process, process of construction that there will be some short-term driveway closures for work. One thing that we will reiterate is that access to your homes and or businesses will always be maintained. And if there is any temporary need for a closure of uh, or a blockage of a driveway, you will be notified in advance and it will be very short term. Another thing to note is that there will be heavy construction equipment to complete the excavation and uh, the trenching and the installation of the pipelines. Um, this equipment's needed for um, for all of those activities. There will be some noise and dust that is created through the, out the process of construction. Uh, and the, the construction will typically occur Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. There might be some weekend work required, but it's generally uncommon. Next slide. So all of the work for this project will be in the city of Austin right of way. And what that means is essentially, we don't have it shown in a map, but the right of way includes the street itself and then a certain space between the street and, um, and your property um, uh, behind the curb, the, the street curb. Um, all the work is anticipated to take place within the city owned right of way and its easements. Um, so as noted, the right of way does extend beyond the edge of the pavement curve, a couple feet typically. And uh, service line step outs may require work in lawn landscape areas behind the curb. If we do end up in those spaces, we will notify you in advance and we are always welcome. Uh, we always welcome any questions that you may have when we are in those um, in, in that right of way area behind the curb. Next slide. <clears throat> so other things we can expect during construction are there will be some water service impacts. So because we are adding about 1400 linear feet of water main, there will be some water service shutouts required to complete that new water line installation. We those uh, water service in, water service interruptions are typically very brief, between two to four hours, and you will be notified at least forty eight hours in advance when prior to that water shutoff occurring. Emergency outages are also possible throughout the construction phase, but these are uncommon and uh, when they do happen, we the city of Austin does prioritize bringing the water back online as early as, as possible. So general construction sequencing, you'll see this throughout the construction process and you may have already seen it on other construction uh projects that include water or wastewater line or reclaimed water line installations but generally you will see heavy equipment come in to perform uh saw cuts of the pavement or the street to 
create a trench for the pipeline. You'll see the pipes getting installed, and then you'll see some paving, uh, some temporary paving installation as well. And then at the very end of the project, we'll have the streets repaved before we complete construction. Next slide. And that is generally the construction process for the reclaimed water main phase one project. So now we open the, the meeting to any questions that uh, attendees may have. Thank you, Javi, and thank you, Stephen, for your presentation. We do have some questions already coming in, so that's great. I'll get us started on those. Um, just a reminder, if you want to um, post your questions in the Q&A, just click that Q&A button and uh, type your question in. If you want to speak, then um, look for, I believe it's under reactions, there's a raise your hand button and feel free to raise your hand and we'd be glad to um, hear from you directly. All right, so Ken has joined and he asked first how many people are attending. And it looks to us from our display that we have two folks attending the meeting at this time. Um, so, and we also have heard uh, from at least one resident who said they wouldn't be able to attend, but they're gonna be watching the recording. We will be posting the recording of this meeting on the project website. Um, and so Ken is asking, will construction happen west of Parker Lane on Oldorf Street? Yeah. So yeah. I wonder if it'd be helpful if I click back to one of the maps for us to answer that question. Let's see. Is this the best map or should uh, I go to one. the one that shows? Maybe the, the, the previous one. There we go. Okay. And uh, Stephen, you're welcome to answer or if you want me to answer it, I can. Uh, it looks like um, we are, are turning north on Parker and we're not going to go west uh, uh, when we're on Old Torf. We will not go be west past Parker Lane. So I hope that answers your question. Yeah, and I, I could provide some clarity there as well. So this project won't include work west of Parker Lane. Um, so this project specifically, Old Torf Reclaimed Water Main Phase 1, we kicked off construction last week officially, and you'll start seeing some construction activities starting next week. So boots on the ground, some contractors uh, setting up erosion controls, and all of that work you'll see closer to Alvin Devane Boulevard. Um, so that's far east of Parker Lane. Um, this project specifically, the construction will stop, will terminate at East Oldworth Street and Burton Drive. All construction that's closer to Parker Lane area. So that's going to be west of Burton Drive, west of Burleson Road, and then Parker Lane and, and beyond where the cursor is on the map. All of that will be part of Altworth Reclaimed Water Main Phase 2. Phase 2 is currently scheduled to advertise sometime early summer 2023 and will not start construction until at the earliest um, end of this year, early next year. So uh, to answer your question, construction around Parker Lane or west of Parker Lane is not anticipated until at the very earliest, the end of 2023. Thank you all for those answers. And Javi mentioned that the phase two is scheduled to advertise. Maybe just explain that a little bit. So that's part of our process to mm -hmm. um, bid out the, the project, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So, um, and I think Ken also had a question, a follow up on that. And which phase will construction begin west of Parker Lane on Altworth Street? So, yeah, uh, as Emily noted, the city of Austin does have um, an advertising process where we take projects out to bid to contractors that are certified with the city of Austin so that they can construct our projects, the city of Austin projects. The Altorf Reclaimed Water Main Phase 2 project, which if we look again at the map, starts at Burton Drive and then travels west through to the Travis Heights neighborhood, uh, which is west of I-35. That project we are scheduled to advertise early summer 2023. The advertisement pro process with the city of Austin essentially includes putting this project out um, into um, the city of Austin website to give opportunities that gives opportunities to contractors to bid on. 
they bid on, we go to council and then we, you know, assuming the bid process is smooth enough, we go to council and then approve uh, uh, the selected contractor to perform work. And that's it. That's how our contractor on this project, Cash Construction, that's how they were selected to perform the construction on um, phase one. The city typically typically goes with the lowest bidder. That's the way our process goes, um, unless there are some complexities associated with the design. Thank you. Thanks for giving that background on the process. Yeah. Okay, we have another question. Um, Rod says, thank you for doing this to keep us informed. My home is on Mariposa at Parker Lane. Will homeowners along the route be given an opportunity to access the reclaimed water? Steven, I see you nodding your head. Do you want to take the first um, shot at answering this one? Yeah, so y y the answer is yes. Uh, you'll be um, given the opportunity. And so, um, however, this will be as part of Ultor phase two, which as Javi mentioned is, is not in this current effort, which is phase one. And uh, that'll come um, um, a little bit later uh, within within the the the, the year. Um, <clears throat> so uh, typically, contractors are are given uh, um, uh, the opportunity. Uh, excuse me, customers are allowed the opportunity uh, by expressing a, what's called a letter of interest, and uh, that what that does is that gets. Uh, put you on our radar screen. We have a gentleman also in our reclaimed group. His name is Oystein Moen, and I can provide that uh, his contact information for you to to uh, obtain the letter of interest. Um, and so I'll, I'll put that in the chat, um, and then and then you'll be able to contact him um, uh, at your convenience and request that letter of interest. Uh, be sent form will be sent to you and then uh, that'll be passed along to our our design our designers at that point thank you Stephen. so so the residents there along that phase two will express their interest in connecting through this letter of interest that that oystein will be able to provide right and then there will be a process that um austin water will give you the details of how um how you'll, what you'll need to do to, to connect. And this will be sort of a, a new phase of the reclaimed water system for us and um, going through a residential neighborhood and working out the details of how residents will be able to connect. So this neighborhood may have the chance to sort of be on the cutting edge of this, right? All right. So while well, we're kind of pausing to see if there's more questions. Oh, we do have one more. Um, will construction affect any community spaces in Travis Heights, like the Blun Creek Nature Preserve or the Big Stacy Neighborhood Pool? And I don't know if our project team, I don't know if you all are familiar with exactly where those sites are located. Um, Do y'all feel um, ready to address that, or so that's that's the that's the next project after Old Tour Phase Two is called the Travis Heights, and I'm I'm actually the sponsor. I'm working on that one, um, and the so there's the uh, Blunt Creek. Um, I know Blunt Creek Park is there. Big Stacy Neighborhood Park is there. Um, the pool, um, I'm, I'm not, I think I know where that's, that's, I think that's going to be south of our alignment. Um, and I'm sorry, I don't have the uh, proposed alignment for Travis Heights in front of me or in front of us, but I do know that that pool is south of the alignment. Uh, we are crossing Blunt Creek, um, at, um, it's not Monroe, it's, um, law, um, Alameda and uh, Lawn Lawnwood Lawnmont. I, I forget the name of that of that street. Uh, Woodland, sorry. Um, <clears throat> and so we'll we'll be just doing a creek crossing there. We do not anticipate going into the park. Um, we're going to be entirely in the right of way. Um, so as far as any 
impacts, uh, they should be minimal, um, but just during the construction, the uh, right of way will be impacted. Uh, similar to this project, we'll have uh, lane closures and traffic control protocols um, in place. So I hope that I've um, maybe addressed both points of your question. Thank you, Stephen. Yeah. And so that will be a, a, a third project, the Travis Heights reclaimed project. And um, Ken, if you're interested in maybe getting, if we have a project map, um, feel free to put your email address in the chat and send it to the host and panelist. And then we'll be glad to follow up with you on more information. And of course, we'll be doing outreach to the neighborhood as that project progresses. I think it must be in the early design phase. Stephen, is that right? Uh, yeah, we are currently at the 60% phase. So 60% uh, design. Yeah, these, okay. these projects are running, uh, you know, sequentially. And um, mm -hmm. so that way they're anticipated to kind of be, uh, you know, overlapping each other at minimal, minimally at the same time. Right. So we'll try not to have them in construction at the same time. Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and Ken, I see your contact information. So I'll email you and get you connected with Stephen also, and um, we'll work on getting a project map um, that would show that Travis Heights project at this stage. All right, let's see. I think I, I'm gonna go to just this slide. We have um, our project website. It's austintexas.gov slash ultor for reclaimed water. And we'll be using that page to provide updates during construction, uh, probably on phase one and phase two. And when you visit that page, there is a link there where you can sign up to get updates. So, um, Give us your email address at that link and we will be sending updates during construction. We try to provide updates when there's big changes, like when the contractor's moving from one section to another, flame closures are, are changing. And of course, if there's any meetings, we'll be using that, that list to send updates. Um, let's see, I think that I have, oh yes. And I have our project team contacts here on our last slide. So you heard from Telly during the uh, introductions and I just, for folks who aren't familiar with the city construction process, I always like to elaborate a little bit on Telly's um, role on the project. So he and his colleagues are uh, the city's representative on the project. And so he'll be working directly with the contractor and making sure that the work is done according to the plans and specifications. And he will be a liaison to neighbors and businesses also working to give notices when work will be near driveways. Um, so, and um, we were discussing at the beginning of the meeting that he has a big orange truck, so you can't miss him. Um, but I really, Telly and his colleagues, the construction coordinators around the city are what make all of this work. And um, they do a great job uh, working with the community and with the contractor and so thanks in advance, Telly, for all that work you'll be doing out there. And I just want the community to know that you're a resource for them. And then Javi is the project manager. You heard from him and I'm also available um, and can help you get information and get to the right person if you have questions about this project or the other projects in our Completing the Core series. So I just wanna take a pause and make sure there's not other questions that you're typing in that you're just about to hit send on. We really appreciate you all joining this evening. And like I said, we'll make the recording available and we'll be providing communication throughout these projects. So feel free to contact us anytime that we can be of assistance. Anyone from the project team want to mention something that maybe we didn't cover sufficiently? Um, any closing comments you'd like to make? I have something. Um, thank you, Emily. The just one thing I wanted to provide uh, to the public that's here on the on the meeting is that um, it is going to be a multifaceted 
project with different departments. And if reaching out to one uh, department doesn't get quite the response that uh, that you that you'd like, definitely we can work on getting that right information. And before we put anything out, we'll collaborate as a team to make sure the right information is getting out uh, to the public. So feel free, again, my name is Tully. Javi is gonna be a great representative to reach out as well. Just send us an email if there ever is any questions. And if nobody, um, and if there's gonna be multiple, again, multiple agencies. So if we don't quite get a response right away, by all means, we're working on providing the right information and somebody will definitely get back in touch with you guys so thanks for joining the meeting and looking forward to working with everybody thank you tally thank you okay well i think we've about i think we've reached the end here uh thanks again for joining and um yeah i'm gonna call it a night and y'all stay safe and have a good evening